Friday. Let's see this. We got our trusty Kenworth here. Hope you guys are doing well. We're back on Western Australia here. Hauling some grain to market. We got two trailers and Mark has three. Just finished up this 600 acre field. We should be able to get most of this all today. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Hey Nathan. It's getting there. Where are you from? New Brunswick. Yes. It was minus 27 yesterday. It's supposed to go up to uh, plus one tomorrow afternoon. Cold as I've ever got here. I'm told it was uh, I think minus 26. Six. We have 60 kilometers per hour winds. Yeah, we're just hauling some grain. I'm trying to stream. I've not streamed much lately. <laughs> Oh yeah, much better. Much, much better. How'd you get a new machine? Yep. Got an upgrade. Nice, but time. <laughs> yeah, it was it was time. <laughs> Alright, let's get onto the highway here. Yeah, I wish there was even though this is a 16x map, man, these roads don't seem like they're that long. Or maybe it's just me, I don't know. Yeah, that is a good point. We could make it longer if we wanted to, but it's probably not. Wouldn't be much fun. Nice to see some money come in, because we're going to need to buy some seating equipment here pretty soon. <laughs> Big question, if you 
if we fertilize the field now after the harvest and then pass the the seeder seeding and and fertilizing again, does it count to hundred percent or I don't think so. I think you have to have a, a period between one growth stage. Basically. Yeah, something like that. Yep. And if you don't collect the straw instead of just spread, that counts as a layer of fertilizer. I think so, but on that I'm not totally sure. Is that how it works in real life, or is it more of uh, just kind of like a weed preventer? A lot of people don't bale unless they're selling, like, selling hay bales. At least I can tell. It also depends on the crop, obviously. Oh yeah, it's nice. Hey, Wintech. Yeah, good point. I start moving some grain. I would grab the uh, K200 from the truck truck yard and bring it over. Um, do you have any traders? Uh, there oh, should there traders. should be a couple, yeah. So the farm we had five. These two or seven, or could you bring these here? Uh, Mark has two of them, and then I have the two that the farm owns. I have three trailers on right now. Oh, yeah, three. Excuse me, yeah. I have two. Our farm only owns two right now. We'll get some more. to get that uh, T908 finished here pretty soon because if I don't hurry up we're not going to use it at all. <laughs> Which model is this that I'm driving now? That's a T900. That's the 900. No, that's one of the nicer mods, one of the nicer truck mods I've seen in a while. It's incredibly detailed. The 908 is a little bit more, uh, more modern, I think. I think the T900 actually came back like the flat glass W900. I think that's what they were doing. They have the old school Aerodyne uh, leaper on that one.
I might add the 659, but I'm trying not to just add a, a ton of trucks for the sake of having a ton of truck models. Even though I love, <laughs> love variety. here. I think I'm supposed to go straight. Yeah, it's right here. Put um, a little red and then back up the, the mats off to the red and, and place one of these parts of right. Yeah, All we right. have that big steep hill at the edge of the farm. Maybe we can just dump it off this hill into a truck. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. We can use the, the loading right or we can just get the wheel loader and even dump it on the ground and pick it up with that. Probably more realistic, but also more work. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the loaders we have has a 200,000 capacity, so it should be able to pick it up in one scoop. All right, load number two. <laughs> I'm on my way back. I think Mark is getting the rest of the combine, so you can just park beside the other bins. Okay, yeah, we can just line the combines up then. Okay, yep. That's beautiful. <laughs> See? All the cards are loaded on each other. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> there and see if it's full. 
Oh, it's already full, okay. Okay, cool. Back on the road. Ready to go? Say again? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm just waiting for my Cut. Okay. The same same point? Yep, I'm just going to the uh the elevator. There's so much grain at this point that it really a few pennies is not gonna it's not worth the extra hassle. The one that's just past the store, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, these trucks hold a considerable amount, so it shouldn't take us that long. Any ideas on how we want to split this field up? I'm thinking like at least four to five fields, probably. I just go to, to the um, Landscape painting tool, close your eyes and whatever you grow, that's what it is. <laughs> you just make a uh, cross through it. Okay. Ah, that's, that's a really good point, yeah. That is an excellent point. He's smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the right, proper side of the road here. Yeah, we probably are going to have to go with those. I would like to go a little smaller, but probably will become very tedious very fast. Either way, it probably will be, but. We can at least get one of those. We might get. We need a larger, another large tractor. Um, which I need to buy, probably with a Ford or something. One of the Bueller tractors.
Maybe we'll do like we did with the combines, get two really big ones and then a couple of smaller ones. That seemed to work out pretty well. Yeah, there, there is no uh, Peterbilt presence whatsoever aside from imported stuff. I believe everything Peterbilt down there is a American truck that someone converted to right-hand drive. So, it is interesting for sure. Inside the shop? South of it. There's a uh, elevator there. You'll see my truck. Man, the unload speed on these trailers is insane. <laughs> the what on them? The unload speed, how fast they oh, get rid man. of all that grain. Man, that's <laughs> a, little, a little bit fast. I've never actually seen one of these. Well, the one I have, the one in the front, um, dumps over like the tongue and then the other one is just a normal dump trailer. So do they actually dump these while they're still hooked up to trailers behind it? Yeah, yep. Yeah, no, they're set up to dump. There isn't, no, for sure. And they normally would unload in like this thing down the road, this series of piles, but the entrance to it is so confusing that I decided not to bother with it. But that's how it seems like a lot of the grain is stored is just outside in giant mountains. So, to which farm do I transfer the money? Uh, the kangaroo paddocks. And I'm going to have to figure out... The, the trucking company is going to have to get paid something because we're running low on money. 
maybe like 100k or something. And then I'll have to pay you some as well. Me? Yeah, yeah, isn't your farm helping? You brought a combine over. And a grain yeah. combine. And a, uh, a wagon as well, I think. Mother bin. Well, the thing is, I, I told you on Saturdays I was going to be part of the main farm, you know. Ah, okay, fair enough. Mine, so. Well, thank you. This is not a, this is not a single person farm, for sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, major lag spike. I'm guessing these freezes are... The Maybe that's a good that's a good at point. Yeah, because it feels like it, it happens every certain amount of minutes very consistently. Yeah, yeah. The auto save is like every five minutes. I think so. Yep. Yeah. Well, I guess if uh, Truck World Australia doesn't turn out, then we can play farming soon. <laughs> They're not anywhere near close to a long stay. It's hard to tell, yeah. They just. I think I showed you guys those couple pictures. Um, but they said they're preparing to do a gameplay video here pretty soon. Hopefully, it'll show more of the map and stuff. It looks like it'll be an interesting game, but we'll see. I think they did, yeah. They they actually did do some bug fixes, but they kind of had a rough start. Wait, uh, there's a demo out already? Yes. They're calling a driving school. Um, you have to do different tasks related to driving the truck, and they uh, you can actually get like five star or three stars or two stars or whatever. If you want to go for the three stars, it's pretty unrealistic. You have to like sprint to your truck and back up as fast as you can and then whatnot, but uh, but it gives a good impression of the gameplay um, and it's pretty impressive. Yeah, Jeff was not impressed with the uh, the time for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it was just like you had to practice. Okay, sprint, press this button, press it. Like, you're not using any of the interactive controls on the dashboard. You're in keyboard shortcuts, doing everything you can, but that's just perfect. Obviously, that's not the way that you would play if you're just doing your own thing, talking around. But, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mark, if you want to stop. Right there, I'm bringing the Komatsu over. Let's yeah, sure. try that trick. See if it works. Yeah, Wintech, we can park everything at the farm probably now, I think, or at least move it in that direction. Try to park as close as you can to the wall. Is what? there enough rain over series? Oh yeah, there, there, there's quite a bit left. Mm 
There's at least a hundred thousand liters. Well, it's going down now. This, your mother bin is empty. But one of ours is, I think one of ours is empty and then our second one is like almost there. I got 64,000 left. Oh, nice. Awesome. Actually, it looks good, too. It's not far off. There you go. Uh, sweet. I'm surprised that it works, but I guess the uh, they did add the ability to jump from one combine to another, so it probably is the same concept. Well, did you say it actually gave you an overloading problem? Yeah. That's a good question. I'm not sure yet. Um, I think we're going to keep most of it. Because we'll probably need it again. I think the stuff we've picked is pretty much the best stuff we're going to get. I need to check the used market again here in a second. Don't we have these to own? Yes. Yeah, we need to start buying some of the stuff. Because the leasing is going to just destroy our finances. But yeah, for now I think we're going to keep everything. Obviously, it's need... not that bad from what I've been reading. I think you pay like 15, 20% more in the end, but it's... Yeah. At, at least you're not... Like if you're buying everything, you know, in the first year, I, I don't think you have enough money or, or profit on the first car for them. Oh, definitely not. Oh, cool. Yeah, that, is, that was mine. I sold it because um, I had bought and I actually lost a lot of money on those. Because I bought those and then I started using it and then I realized that the, the algorithm combines is not long enough to discharge with the heavy oil. So I had to get rid of it and get some more of it. Alright, well, I think I've got the last of the green. Unless there's more hiding somewhere else. No, no, that's it. So let's haul everything and then we'll drop the uh, drop the trucks off back to the trucking company, the yellow ones. And then we'll start to uh, work on the figure the money out and then start moving some seeding equipment this way because I think we can plant already, right? I thought we could plant. Yeah, we can plant the wheat. As of this moment. Okay. <laughs> You're on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> well, I guess technically that is the passing side. <laughs> it takes a lot to get easy. Yeah, it does. I usually remember only when I see a sign. You can also plant bar 
Harley and Otis. Okay. Well, let's figure out. Figure out the money, and then I need to start buying some seating stuff. Because we don't have anything for that. Does it fit on the on the extendable flatbed? Uh, might if you yeah, that's why it's a gross. Because he has double wheels, right? So he might be. Okay. Are you talking about that one that you had, gross man? This is the same model. Just so I barely got that on the uh, low boy. streaming do you have more voices or just a game? Uh, you, everyone, I, we can hear you and anyone that's in voice chat, yeah. Careful who you're talking about. <laughs> I really like the Souls Kenworth, it's quite quite nice. How much money do you have loaned? How much do I have loaned? Yeah, do you loan any money? Uh quite a bit, I'm not sure. The trucking company has probably borrowed more than anybody because of all the stuff I've bought. All that equipment and stuff. Here comes Mark with the last load. Let's figure this out here. We're going to transfer. Well, 
I gotta let Mark unload first. Can we find Thorgum already? No, I mean, the, if you want to do two crops per year. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because yes. you, or, or soybeans if you want to do that as well. Because wheat, barley, and canola you can harvest in, in May and then uh, you get soybeans or soybeans. Or soybeans. Alright. So there goes our last load of wheat. Right, so let's figure out our finances. Harvest income. 324. So we'll just give 300,000. Enough. I'm switch farms. Get ourselves. What do we own? Purchase this. 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 And we'll get our auger wagon. Purchase this one. Did we need to? Uh, Two mother bins? Probably. How, how many fields you expect? I, I would put one mother bin for a few. Uh, I don't want more mother bins, but we'll probably just keep the two we have. I was just trying to see what I need to buy. Le uh, purchase lease. Then again, if the crops are not all being harvested at the same time, you don't really need one for a few. Let's go. Let's look at the real one here. Now we're going to look at what do we know? We've got a quad track. We have a. Okay, that's not very much horsepower. Well, let's look at our cedars here. Thank you. 
All right, what next? I'm going to start buying some seeing equipment. I'm going to get us probably two seed hawks and two, uh, two burgolts. There's a couple of flatbeds here. Are they going to be any good? Uh, flatbeds in. I don't think so. Those things are huge. Okay. Oh, you mean to help move stuff? I don't know. They probably are too small. Yeah. How many flatbeds do we have? What was that? Sorry. How many flatbeds do we have? Oh, owned? I think just two. The trucking company has. I think an expando and a normal one. No, wait, Sorry, they... I didn't mean flat that. I mean uh, low boy. Just one. Just one low boy. That's going to be several trips then. Well, I can probably help Wintech move equipment out of the field. If he needs any help. You look. Better stood. So between. I could go to behind, okay. I'm gonna buy one of these. I'm gonna lease one. And then we're gonna lease two carts. I guess it's not going to be that easy to transport that sea hole because it's pretty large. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge here. Two between. I need to clear a few things. It's behind. Oh, it's behind. Can you super straight and pause it really hard from the store? <laughs> Okay, I got two Seahawks, and now I gotta lease the other two, but I'm gonna take this truck back first. You have enough tractors for this? You only have one? I gotta get more tractors, yep. Okay, so I'll get, we probably need um, another tractor about the same size for the other Seahawk and then something a little bigger for the Blue Elks. Do you guys want a fence? I guess we're going to have to get some, I'll have to borrow some more money. The Fent 1100, I like those. Do we want to do cotton on this farm, or do we want to split it off into a separate thing? I'm kind of thinking we should just do it all as one. Yeah, I don't want to see the point of having a separate farm for it. Okay, we'll just make a small field for cotton. Although we probably will wait on cotton until, uh... One more harvest so we can get a little more money. Someone needs to come up with a price adjust mod for the store 
so you can adjust prices down to a more realistic level because some of that stuff is a little crazy. I think we do. I believe it's in one of the big sheds. I think it's the open one. I usually just buy them and then uh, use easy diff controls to add back the money I think I deserve. <laughs> that's a good, yeah, that's, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Think the just too expensive? No, just like the some of the stuff I don't know, like used used trackers like that Steiger, I don't I don't think it was priced appropriately. And uh you know some other stuff. Yeah, the case combine is here is yep. Okay, well, I'll park it out by the road here. I brought back the and the uh, the uh, the um Hitachi or Komatsu, excuse me, can go to the uh trucking company's yard. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, well, we were up to two million dollars, but then I dropped it a lot by buying some of the stuff we had leased. Do we have passenger mod? I think we do, but I don't know what works with it. I thought we do. Maybe we don't. But we need to get more trackers. Large trackers. So we're going to get one of these. Five hundred horsepower. Purples. Radio. No. Just a lot of chatter, yeah. Two things, yes. No license plate. And that will be able to tow the one seat hawk. Stag will be able to take the other one. Then this is too small. Try an old one track. Tune up a little bit. We go no, not really. Maybe. No trees. Vision planting GPS. Do you yeah. think they'll be coming out with Farm Sim 24 at the end of this year, or are they going to stretch it out? Looks like they're going to wait another at least one more year. Yeah, they might go on to a three-year life cycle now. Yeah, they they still have. Looks like they have some uh, season pass stuff coming. That's one of those, and then we're going to lease there we go. No. The rear of the low boy does not have a, an attachment, right? Uh, no. Because it would be nice if you had it, could just drag a little bit of those. Or don't see their parts behind it. 
We can just road it with the, uh, what do you call it, on the tractors. It'll be very slow, though. Five minute lag spike. Say like. Yeah, I might have to adjust that. Make a little more spaced out. to tell you the this um contract that you just bought it has a little issue oh it does the the, the top speed i think is good because it won't go over 20. 20 kilometers an hour minus 29 kilometers oh, okay the speedometer says 40 and I was checking real life, the speed is forward as well, but the game doesn't go with and I think the, the gear ring is not well adjusted. Yeah, yeah. I might get rid of it and get a, uh, I forgot we had the, oh, MT-800 in here, I might get rid of it and get one of those instead. Park these where you want my tech. I'll just get them out of the field. Oh my goodness. Looks like these John Gears have the passenger. It, uh, okay. It's prompting me to enter as a driver. I hate it. <laughs> well, they're all, all empty. Yeah. Basically, yeah. just rolling slowly down the road. Yeah, yeah. Right? It probably is possible. Yeah, I think. I think two trips, this one on tractor, and then the other tractor pulls the rest. And then someone can drive the truck. Mark, do you want to drive this truck? Which one's that? Because otherwise it's going to be like 15 trips with a low buy. I mean, it's up to you. I don't know if you're not okay with this. Nah, that's all right. It's fine. I see what you're talking about. Uh, the truck, the, the truck on the, on the store, if you want to drive that. The, okay, sure. um, Kenworth. MT-800. What's the top speed on the the other tractor you got there? Here you're spacing. This is going to the firm, I assume? Yeah. Yes. I mean, this is the type of stuff that you probably see in Australia. <laughs> Austin version? EU, North America. I'll move out 
of the way for you. Cut glass. Green black. Stand. Vegan lights. Extra lights. Dishes. Oh dear. <laughs> Too far. Thank you, Rita. No. Bill Rope, yes. GPS. Yeah, I moved too far all the way. <laughs> GPS. Okay. And there you go. What is this other tractor you have to do? Uh, I got just got a Challenger and I got a a um, a Ford. This is top, top speed on that oh, I, I don't know. The Challenger says forty three. Again, we're gonna do Sirius is enjoying his favorite part of the game right now, just buying all the fancy shiny stuff. <laughs> Going into debt, yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, probably grab this blue tracker. And if someone wants to grab the expandable flatbed, you can grab the uh, this little wheel loader and the extra dolly and bring those to the trucking company. I hope I didn't buy the wrong configuration. Tank, do we have something around here that can grab onto this and offload? Oh, nice. One, what? Over one million dollars. Okay, that, that was a massive field, so it doesn't surprise me. Save at least the final load of those the wheat that we collected to make some seeds. Oh yeah, yeah. Next time. Well, that's a good point. The seed bills will be expensive. Incredibly, yes.
was going to ask you about this the other day, forgot. You see that in the minimap, the tractor I'm driving doesn't have a tractor symbol. Okay. So if you want to jump on it from the map, you can't. The one you're driving also doesn't have it. Weird. You might have uh, tractors turned off on your map. Ah, uh, yeah. Map in the actual menu. Um, and then go to vehicles, you might find you have tractors turned off for the map. There's no tractors, just vehicles. Mine's turned on. You see, I can see... I can see all of my tractors except this case. I think it's a problem with the mod. Huh. Maybe there's something wrong with it, or some some line of code missing, or something. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a bit hard to jump into it when you need to kind of have to tap 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 into it. Okay? Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Are you coming out? I think I'll hold up at the junction because I'm about to come around the corner. I'm just about to come out, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And you said auto load works, right? Close, man. Uh, what? Auto load works. On those trailers. For like pallets and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does. Okay, you have Matt to show me how to do that. I need to buy some seed here shortly. Bring the. Uh, I just got here. I gotta bring the Kenworth over. I'll, I'll jump over. Wintech, do you want to finish parking this? Oh. So, am I just taking the Ford or am I trying to get this cart on here too? Uh. I don't know if the car will fit. It might. I don't think it will, but I'll try. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind. But yeah. Whatever will fit. I have a feeling I'm not going to fit through these trees, I'm sure. Eh?
Flight traffic jam going to the main farm. Hey, Ryan. Did you buy the trailers? No, no, no. I, we already own one. I'm going to bring it over in a second. I'm just bringing over some of the equipment to the farm. But I think we have enough tractors now, hopefully. So where do you want these behemoth parked? Ah, uh, I think Wintech is lining them all up. I'm gonna leave it here. He can park it whenever. Yeah. Do we have enough horsepower for all these cedars? It recommends 500, if I'm not mistaken. So the case can definitely do it. This case can do it. The bigger, the older one, right? This new one, I think, is too small for it. The new one? Is it not? That's a 470. 470. Yeah. All right, can you stick to the repair um, thingy in? This uh, Challenger has almost 600, so that should be enough. Yeah. Okay, what else do we need? Probably a sprayer. I can start bringing the seeds over if you want. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Let me see what about oh, find that truck. I've been doing well. Just have not been playing very often these days. I'm trying to get back to it. How about you? Alright, do you know where we put our flatbed? We had an old flatbed. Did we bring it all yes. over to the farm? Bring to the farm? Yeah, it's an old flatbed I bought. I know it was hooked up to the truck at one point. Any new ideas? Mm -mm. Let's see here. Is it by the spawn point? Let's try to find it. Do 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 do. They come on the right. No worries. Wrong farm. Old. Old stuff. Awesome, yeah. Well, I will be, uh... There'll be more streaming from this map for sure. Once time allows.
Dolly's header Cedars. I have a feeling that we sold it. I have a feeling I must have sold it off or something. I can't. You want to borrow mine just for this? No, I'll just buy one. We need one anyways. Let me get... Bale. No limbers. No. Bailing technology. Or bale limbers. Trailer. Rubber guards. Auto load. Do I have to select something for auto load in the store? Say it. Do I have to select something for auto load in the store? Uh, no, I don't think so. I did it. Uh, one click to the right, just in case, but it doesn't change any text, so I'm guessing it doesn't matter. Okay. No, I have a uh, a tray, quote unquote, which is basically just a flatbed. I'll just pull it behind that. I'm on my way over to this farm and drop off an ATV, and then I'll come over to the store. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get enough seeds. Yep, yep, I'm on my way. Just gotta drop this uh, ATV off. Do we need the little boy for anything else? I don't think so for now. We might get one more tractor, but I'm not sure. Do you, uh, do you want to do this new Holland with the car? Um, that should go to the truck packing company. Jump this off the uh, Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Oh. to the store. All right, I'm on my way to the store now.
question is, is should we buy the seed in bulk from those from a uh, multi food cell point or something? I would just say maybe we should buy we might want to buy the seed in bulk from the multi fruit cell point. I'll see how much I can carry with this setup. It might make more sense to do that. Not sure what causes that sneezing, uh, sneezing sound effect. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> Fire marks are server side or only to the player? Can you see anything in the ground? Oh yeah, I see some. Let's see if I can back this up. Do you know if the truck has a little? It should, might, I don't know. I'm not totally sure. I think we'll get the herbicide in bulk and then we'll get the other stuff. Cause there's no way we're gonna buy enough seed with this little truck. Not quite sure actually. I don't know how how many seeds feed on each one of these pellets. Is it thousand? Two thousand? I think it's three thousand liters or something. Oh, a thousand fifty liters. I don't know how much each of those holds. So the you know, seed hawks hold 21,800. And the Virgo is 25,000. The Virgo holds 45,000. Yeah, but it's 20, 25,000 seeds. Am I looking at the wrong thing? 20, 25,000 seeds was enough for about 50 hectares, I think. Oh, okay. So yeah, well, we'll need to buy some with the dump trailer. Yes, we are definitely going to do some cotton. Did you say this loader needs to go to the trucking company? Yes, please. The loader and that yellow dollar. But I don't think that you have a hitch on that, I'm not sure. Probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, it has a hitch. I don't know if that works. We can put the dolly inside in the bucket. Oh, cool. Sweet. Nice. Never 
seen that set up before. <laughs> Okay, so we probably should buy seed first, right? Yep. So should, where should we place the uh, multi fruit station? Around here somewhere, probably? Wait, you for a buy in bulk, then you can't load with this. Can't you load with like a big trailer? Uh, in bulk, it's gonna, you're going to need a, like a wheat of trailers. It's not going to speed up pallets. No, no, no. What we want to do, uh, like the dump trailers, want to do those? Oh, you don't want to, you don't want to buy pallets at all? Uh, I think we should buy pallets of herbicide. But I'm going to wait because we're low on money. I don't want to keep borrowing. Okay, so where do you want to load the seats? Is there a multi fruit station already that we can use, or? at my farm but if you want to put one here in the store yeah let's try that how do you want to um, how do you want to transport the seeds to the farm I'm gonna get the uh, two tippers and bring them over hey case yeah, this farmyard is not done yet is that enough horsepower Wintech? I think it is. I'm I think not sure. Gone. Oh, okay. I don't think he meant to leave. <laughs> oh, it timed out or something. Maybe, maybe his internet went down because he dropped from Discord as well. Oh, yeah, okay. The uh, voice and FS went away at the same time. I think there's there are trailer specialized seats. They have the. Oh yeah, 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 there are some. I don't think we can afford them yet, but yeah, good point. The, uh, I believe these air carts have, um, augers on the side, so we should be able to unload into, yep, yeah, they do. There's also one by uh, JFL that I eventually probably will buy. Wait, let, let me bring this over to your farm and I'll get some seed. A lot of driving this stream, folks. A lot of driving. I wanted to get that field harvested, and we finally did. There is one that is sort of uh, supposed to fit on top of a flatbed. It has augers and sports seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I'm going to get. So, do you need... I think you need that... that um, what's the name of that trailer? The old trailer, I think, and the flatbed will work with both. I think. The pack dog trailer, right? No, no, the one at the store, the one I have hooked up to my old, uh, old Kenworth. Oh, well, you could buy that, I can try loading it. I'll, let's try that later, I wanna, cause we're, I'm trying to save money. To, so I'm going to see if I can just load C directly into a tipper. You probably can. Yeah, I should be able to. You said that's your farm? Say again? The multi-fruit loading station, is that your farm? Yes, yeah, good. Okay, I'm heading that way.
This one right here? Yep. Let's see if we can get under it. The answer is no, we cannot get under it. <laughs> what? Oh, because it's mine? I can try to fill up the trip. No, it's too high. I went too low, excuse me. Unless it'll just clip through. Yep, yep. Let's look at something here. Wheels. Put it on a tiny mountain. <laughs> just need to make it quite good. Let's give that a try. That should work. Yep, it works. And we're out of money. <laughs> How much was that? Twenty nine thousand dollars. seeds into the cart they have uh, augers on yeah, the cart I mean, can you like you have to park really precisely on top of it i guess that probably don't know we will figure that out or we can get a little auger between them borrow some more money back to the bank Yep, I'm gonna borrow a little bit more.
not easy to make this look good. Yeah, that's 120,000 liters, so that should should cover us for a little, at least a couple of passes. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Let's go back to the farm. on the highway. Yeah, Mark, can you see if you can get the auger open on one of those uh, carts? Sure. We might want to add that, uh, the variable um, application mod or whatever that mod is that makes you not use as much inputs. I might toss that in here. No, 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 it's like a very, it, it adjusts how much seed and fertilizer and stuff you use and lime. Yeah, I remember, I remember that part I don't know. Use one of these trailers.
What do you mean there? Hope this works. <laughs> do you need to tip out of the green door or something? Ah, uh, it's it, it's the uh, yeah the, the seed door, whatever one that is. I don't think so, no. Ah, there it works. Did that fill it already? The middle one got filled. It says I'm at 50%. See, I don't know what the other one's for. Let me try the first one again. Okay. Okay. So we need some dry fertilizer then. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's get ourselves another trailer. Trailers. Power filter dirt tickle. Rubber guards. Hungry boards. Spires. Yeah. That one holds how much? A little bit less, but it should be okay. okay I'm going to go get some fertilizer. I think it's time to end this stream. Thank you guys for watching. I don't think you want to watch me drive back and forth and get various inputs, so I'm going to call it quits here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Have a good night.